Roborock just released a new firmware for the S6 Max-V, version 1.56.90, and it was supposed to significantly improve object recognition. I decided to install the firmware and test the robot based on the tests I conducted in my Clash of the Titans video, where I compared it to the T8 AIVI, and its AI performance back then was lackluster. It did a pretty good job of avoiding various obstacles, um, like cords and shoes, but it did not do a good job at all with pet waste. The first time it ran into it, it kind of avoided it mostly, but then if it saw it again, it just it just ran right over it like it wasn't even there. So I was really curious to see if um, this firmware would do anything about that, and it's not off to a great start. It recognized the shoes, as you saw, but not the laces. So here it is, caught up. And it tries for a while to free itself, but spoiler alert, it's not going to succeed. I thought it might free itself against the leg of the birdcage like it did last time, but when it became clear that that had been just a fluke as I suspected, I decided it was time for an intervention. So once I freed it, um, it resumed the test, and I don't know how else to say this, but it blew my mind. Here, it sees the vitamin bottle, but doesn't recognize it, so pushes it around. And that's okay for some things, but not things like cords, pet waste, or shoes with laces. It has a feature where all the object it finds, it lets you go into the app and tell it that it can ignore those things in the future. So that's nice in case it starts getting a little too cautious with stuff it should be pushing around. Look at the great job it's doing with the cord. It did not do this well last time. At all. It's just not coming anywhere near it. I wish it would do that for the shoes with laces but maybe that they'll put that in a future update. It's doing a phenomenal job. See, it recognizes that as pet waste. And yeah, I saw it touch it with the side brush, but it was just a little bit, and that happens. Nothing is perfect. Even this floor-colored poop, um, it didn't recognize that last time. I think at all, if I remember correctly. Here, uh, pet mode is on, by the way. I will turn pet mode off and try this again. I was kind of afraid to do that because last time I turned pet mode off, it started completely ignoring pet waste. Like, like completely, it would just run right over it like it wasn't even there. That pink shoe, uh, the pink croc rather, it didn't recognize it as a shoe at all until the very end. At first it showed up on the app as an um, unknown object, so its shoe recognition could still use a little bit of work. It does a great job with the gloves, even though gloves are something that it doesn't need to avoid. And you can actually go in the app and tell it that it doesn't need to avoid it, so that works out really well. Of course, you may not actually want to do that in this particular instance because it didn't recognize it as gloves, it recognized it as fabric. So if you tell it to avoid fabric, I'm not sure whether it will avoid things that look like those gloves or just fabric in general. That would be a good test. Maybe I'll make a, another video if you guys aren't sick of my AI test yet. All right, let's speed this up, get this over with, and then we'll do a run with pet mode disabled. All right, so here it is with pet details, as they call it, set to no, which is pet mode off. And last time I did this test with pet mode off, it just, as I mentioned before, ignored pet waste completely. Uh, it was a disaster. But here, it, there doesn't really seem to be any difference between pet mode on and pet mode off, which is, which is a huge relief for me. Before, when I turned pet mode back on, it didn't change its behavior. It still ran right over the pet waste that it avoided the first time it had pet mode on. So I was afraid to even turn pet mode off for this test. So, I mean, I'm super impressed with this update. This, this really did an amazing job of uh, changing the way this thing recognizes and deals with objects. I could actually trust this thing now to run completely unsupervised. My dogs don't poop on the floor. The little one used to when we first got him. He's a rescue, but he hasn't in years. So it, it did a pretty good job, except it misrecognized uh, a caster wheel as pet waste. But better safe than sorry, I guess. So since Roborock did such an amazing job with this update, let's have some fun and put it through the ultimate poop challenge using every fake piece of dog poop that I own. Let's see how it does. <laughs>
So yeah, I think I broke its brain with this test. It was a little too much for it to handle, and its navigation algorithm just went haywire. It tried to find itself on the map. I mean, it, it kind of knew where it was. It was in the, showing itself in the right place, but it, it just went nuts and spent a long time trying to find its way home. I'm not sure exactly what happened, but something um, in its code went nuts. It's, it, you can see that it knows where it is, like it's in the right place on the map. So it's not that it doesn't know where it is, it's that it's entered some sort of, I, I don't know, maybe it entered a fail-safe mode or something where it just freaked out or, or it's stuck in some sort of syntax error loop. I'm, I'm using words I don't understand anymore. I used to program BASIC in the 80s, but that's about all of my coding experience. So yeah, it's in the right place, and finally, finally this thing makes it home. After an absolutely triumphant performance. Very well done, Roborock. Very well done. So at this point, you might be wondering, well, how would the uh, Ecovacs T8 AIVI do in this test, this ultimate poop challenge? So let's find out. It's not off to a great start, but it could be forgiven for ignoring that one. It's, it's a weird color. And of course, I don't think it's going to um, avoid the cookie. And that thing on the floor, uh, that little really light colored poop that's in the shape of an X, there, there's no way it can avoid that. But it's doing a pretty good job with everything else. The Roborock avoided everything but the cookie. So that's why the Roborock is phenomenal. This thing um, is still good, but Roborock just changed the game. Uh, it's in a whole new ballpark now. So yeah, it's, it's getting caught on that X thing. It's not going to be able to free itself, so intervention time. Other than that, um, overall, it, it didn't do a bad job. Like, before the update, the Roborock would have totally bombed this. And compared to how it would have done, the T8 actually does a great job. Although, again, um, Roborock, just, they changed everything. Their new AI algorithm is simply phenomenal, and Ecovax is going to have to do something similar if they're going to stay in the game, because there's definitely a clear winner now when it comes to AI performance, and it's the Roborock. So thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please like and subscribe. Until next time, I'm Mike, and this is Mr. Rumbato. Yeah.